Hi, this is Dr. Stephen A. Schrum, Associate Professor of Theater Arts at the University of Pittsburgh at Greensburg, and I'm here to talk to you today about the Visual and Performing Arts major. One of the best things about our major, which we call VAPA, Visual and Performing Arts, is that you take courses in art history, music, and theater. You concentrate in one area in depth, but by taking courses in all three areas, you expand your breadth of knowledge and experience to be able to see the connections among all the arts areas. I'm one of three full-time faculty members. We also have Dr. Amber McAllister, Assistant Professor of the History of Art and Architecture, and Professor Chris Bardley, Instructor of Music. We also have a variety of part-time instructors who teach studio arts, such as painting and drawing, theater courses such as stagecraft and stage lighting, and music courses such as music theory and voice and piano lessons. All of our majors take six survey classes, two in each area. In the junior year, you take theory and methods of the visual and performing arts, which provides grounding in some of the higher level academic work that will prepare you for your capstone project in your senior year. That capstone can be an academic research project or a performance. Some music students have done recitals, and theater students have used acting performances or production or stage management experiences for their capstones, and some have directed musicals for our main stage seasons. The other side of the major is getting you involved in the work of the arts. Dr. McAllister is also advisor for the Visual Arts Society, which sponsors an annual spring art show, and the Visual Arts Society also offers workshops and creative endeavors such as watercolor painting. Mr. Bartley conducts the chorale and chamber singers who present a recital every semester. Every semester I direct a theater production, but I'm also advisor to the Performing Arts Society and to Delta Psi Omega, which is the National Theater Honor Society. These groups sponsor such events as Cabaret and the Broadway Battles Breast Cancer Concert, along with the Red Eye Project, where students are locked in the theater for 24 hours and then write, direct, and act original one-act plays created during that time period. I've been here a few years now, but what originally attracted me to this campus and to this program was the chance to do a variety of things, not just in the classroom, but also in production. You can sing and act, or work backstage, or get involved in other creative endeavors. You can also take advantage of a variety of activities from the many clubs and organizations on campus. Recently, I also created the Arts Entrepreneurship Certificate Program. This provides the student with the business skills needed to brand yourself and get started in your arts career. You can complete the certificate at the same time as the major at no extra cost to you, and some of the courses even fulfill elective credits as well. The Visual and Performing Arts major can prepare you for a variety of jobs and careers. Some of our graduates work for museums, some in education and healthcare human resources, one has their own photography business, and a small group is currently living in Los Angeles, pursuing careers in acting, directing, writing, and producing. I was very pleased a couple of years ago to see the name of one of my former students on the credits for the Netflix show Mindhunter. She worked in the financial office, which might not sound very glamorous at first, but she learned a great deal in that position and the positions that followed, so she can consider that training to become a film or TV producer. For more information about each of the arts areas, get in contact with us. Here's the information to email us or call us, and we hope to hear from you soon.